Can you hear me? How's, there, how's everybody doing today? I want to welcome everyone to this special event here at Wisdom Gym to honor the 2014-2015 Lone Star Conference champions, the South Central Regional champions, and the 2014-2015 National Semifinalist, your 31-4 Charlton State Texans. Give yourselves a hand. We appreciate everyone being here on such short notice. I was talking with Dr. Dottavio, and we, we literally just got the, off the airplane a couple, year, a couple days ago. So it's been a whirlwind. The guys are ready to go. We appreciate you being here. If you don't know who I am, my name is Casey Hogan, and I have the honor and privilege of serving as the radio play-by-play -play voice of the Tarleton Texans. And I can tell you that last week when we were in Evansville, I got a lot of emails and a lot of texts saying how good the broadcast sounds. And while I appreciate that, I can promise you, uh, you sound a lot better when you broadcast for a 31-4 and four team versus a 4-31 and 31 team. So the real reason that I sounded good at all this year is because of the guys that you're about to meet. So with that, I'd ask you to get on your feet, make some noise, and please welcome your 2014-2015 Tarleton Texans. Give them a hand, ladies and gentlemen. Now, over the next ever, over the next hour or so, you're going to hear all about the amazing accomplishments of this group of young men. And so I'm not going to go over their list of accomplishments. I do, wanna, do have a few things that I want to mention about this group of young men. This season started back on November 6, 2014, at the Wilkerson and Grinds Activity Center in Fort Worth, Texas. Congressman, they played the Texas Christian University Horn Frogs. Tarleton lost 69 to 61 in that game, and I think Coach Reisman would agree that it wasn't his team's best performance. He had five new players on the roster. They were going up against a Division I and Big 12 opponent. At the half, this team was down by 14. And I bring this game up because I really thought that that game started what this team was all about this year, and it showed you their heart and determination. It'd be real easy at halftime against a Big 12 opponent just say, hey, we're going to get blown out of the gym. Let's give up. This group didn't do that. They fought back with 11 minutes to go. TCU tr one, was up by two. Again, they end up losing 69 to 61. But this team had no give up in them. And after the game, TCU head coach Trent Johnson said in the Fort Worth Star-Telegram that Tarleton State had a very good basketball team. And he said that they would go on to win a lot of games. Boy, was he right. They won 31 games. Now, in the sports world, yeah, give yourself a hand. Congressman, if we could get TCU on the schedule again next year, we'd appreciate that. <laughs> said, I don't think they want any part of this. In the sports world, you know, we tend to equate success with wins, losses, championship rings, net cutting ceremonies, awards and accomplishments, and all of those things this crew did this year, and you're going to hear about that. But what I'm going to remember most about the 2014-2015 Tarleton Texans was a group of young men that overcame adversity. They cared about their campus. They cared about their community. They were a little bit goofy at times, Mo Lee, a little bit goofy. They played Pictionary in the airport at DFW, and every single person in Terminal C walks by and says, who is this group of guys? They're a fun-loving group. They love being with their teammates, but when it comes down to the end of the day, they want to win, and they did that for you this year. You know, in the media today, it seems like media members, and I'm a media member, they're waiting for student athletes to make a mistake so they can write an article on a paper and it's unfortunate because I've seen this group do a lot of community service this year. They've been out in this community making a difference. About a week ago, I went with them to the Boys and Girls Club of Evansville, Indiana. And I'm going to tell you, those young men and women in downtown Evansville fell in love with the Tarleton Texans. When the bus left after the game, those kids, a couple days later at the back of the Ford Center, were waiting for these guys to come out of the arena because these young men made such a positive impression. Uh, on those Boys and Girls Club members in Evansville. Those are the moments that I'm going to remember. Of course, we're going to have banners. We're going to have championship rings, celebrations like today. 
But those are the times that I really remember. And I want to share with you one final memory that I have of this team. And it was after they lost to Indiana University, ironically enough, in the final four game. You could hear a pin drop on the bus on the way back to the Hampton Inns at Evansville. These guys were disappointed. Greatest season in school history, but they wanted more. They were disappointed. When they got back to the hotel, Coach Reisman gathered them up and said, we're going to have a team meeting and we're going to talk about our travel plans tomorrow. Uh, pretty emotional moment, and I appreciate Coach letting me be a part of stuff like that as a radio broadcaster. And I'll never forget a housekeeping person there at the Hampton Inn walked up to the group, and he had an Elite Eight shirt that he had bought. And he asked Coach Reisman, will y'all sign this shirt for me? And I can almost promise you that 90% of coaches in that moment after what just happened would have told him to hit the road. But the players and Coach Reisman sat there and signed that shirt after what just happened at the Ford Center for that person at the Hampton Inn. And to me, that's what I'm going to remember this team, team about. Uh, they do things the right way, and they're winners. With that being said, I want you to turn your attention to the largest HD video board in the Lone Star Conference, to your left and to my right, for a special video presentation. Crossover dribble for Mo Lee, who do it away. E.J. Reed sets up the dunk for Damian Clemens. And this right now is a lot of fun if you're wearing purple and white. Carlton's going to win this one. Five seconds, four seconds, three, two, and one. Carlton State will live to play another day.
free throw. On his way, and it's good. He got them both to go. Here we go, folks. The moment you've been waiting all season for. As Holman is at the line. He can make it a one-point game here. Let's see if he misses an intentional. And he does. Here we go. Loose ball. That's going to do it. Carlton State is headed to the Elite Eight for the third time in school history. Goodbye, Stevensville. Hello, Evansville. How about it? Goodbye, Stevensville. Hello, Evansville. I believe we can do for you. Tarleton led the Lone Star Conference in attendance this year. You averaged 2,100 fans per game. Give yourself a hand. This team's not 31-4. and four. If this gym's not packed the way it is, that'll be top 10 in the nation, and if you put that amount in Division One, it'd be mid of the pack in Division One at 2,100 fans per game. Our first speaker is in his seventh year as the president of Tarleton State University. You can see him and his wife, Lisette, in the stands at Tarleton events cheering on the Texans and the Texans. Actually got off the airplane on Friday, Mr. President, and he was out at the baseball field on Saturday. He had already been to the lacrosse game, and he'd already been to Tarleton Roundup, and then he was at the baseball game. So you see him everywhere. He was in Evansville last week to cheer on the Texans at the NCAA Elite Eight. And Mr. President, during your seven years at Tarleton State, your men's basketball team is 172 and 46. That's not too bad. That's a 79% winning clip in your seven years here at Tarleton State. So ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the podium the 15th president of Tarleton State University, Dr. F. Dominic Tatabio. Well, I expect all of you know how I have to start this. It's a great day to be a Texan, no? <laughs> You can do better than that. Is it a great day to be a Texan? <laughs> well, thanks, thanks for coming out to celebrate what is clearly a historic year for our basketball team, a year of remarkable accomplishments, and for, for these men who, recon who display to us a remarkable degree of talent on the basketball court and in their lives as well. This is a team that uh, you started to hear some of that as, we, as Casey was talking, as you saw some of the highlights. This is a team that won a school record 31 games. That's the first time that we've had over 30 wins in a year. That, that is very, very special. It's the second time that we've won a Lone Star Conference championship outright. Another terrific accomplishment for this group of men. We had some uh, wonderful individual accomplishments. One of the ones that I know I am most proud of is to know that Joachim Damstra was named the Lone Star Conference Academic Player of the Year. That's the first time that has happened in Tarleton history. Third team to win the regional, uh, South Central Regional Championship going to the Elite Eight and only the second team in our history to make it to the final four. Ladies and gentlemen, these are a very special group of young men. Congratulate them one more time. Now let me tell you, in addition to all those accomplishments, you have to be thrilled by what, what it is that they've done. But beyond what they did on the basketball floor, what I want you to know, listen to this team, is that I am as proud of you for what it is that you did off the floor as what it is that you accomplished in this gymnasium and all the other gymnasiums that you played. 
there are very, very, very few teams in this country that represent a university in such an exemplary way as you did this year. Every place I went, it didn't matter w what venue, what hotel, it didn't matter. We had people come up to us and say, what a special group of young men we have at Tarleton State. It's because of, yes, how they played on the court. They demonstrated what we expect from our, from our athletes, all our athletes, they demonstrate what we expect from all of our students. But then off the floor, they were always saying, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, thank you, please. Those kind of words and the kind of attitude that they demonstrated to all the world, for all the world to see, they were incredible ambassadors to this university. So thank you, Tarleton men's basketball team, for how you represent this university. Now, you all know by now that one of the things that I consider to be very, very special is the core values of this university. This team demonstrated them in an exemplary way throughout this year. And because of that, I'd like the coach to come up here on behalf of the players, the assistant coaches, the trainers, all of the people that are represented on this basketball family, and to accept from me the core value coin of the university that demonstrates the important pieces of what this university is about, the tradition, the civility, the integrity with, with which you live each and every day, and clearly for the excellence that you demonstrated on the basketball court and in the hallways of the places that you visited throughout the year. Thank you. Thank you. Now let me tell you, um, at the press conference on Thursday night, uh, I was in there with a couple of the players. E.J. Reed said something that uh, really struck me, stayed with me. He said uh, to a, somebody that asked a question, he said, you know, a lot, of, a lot of teams talk about family, but this team really believes it. They really believe that this is a, a family and this is a special group of guys, and they live that out every day. E.J., thank you for making that statement, and thanks to all of you for demonstrating how it is that Tarleton has a special bond between each other. Now, I'll, t I'll tell you this, too. I would be remiss if I didn't say this. As Casey said, we had over 2,000 fans on average in this, in this gymnasium uh, week over week over, over week. There were a lot of special people in this gymnasium. There were a lot of special spirit groups represented. I see the, the stars, the poo over here the cheerleaders, um, and a special shout out over here to foul play. These guys made the trip up to, yeah, up to Evansville. And there is, there is not a more passionate group of uh, young men and women about this basketball team and athletics at Tarl Tarleton State than, than the group from foul play. They were into it. They bring a lot to, uh, to the arena every time they're there. And so we want you to know how very much we appreciate what you do for the spirit of this team as well. Thank you, folks. And thanks to all of you again for being out here. Many of you may not know this, but our next speaker was actually a color commentator on a broadcast of Tarleton Texan basketball back on February 1st, 2014, when he joined me on the broadcast. Brought us a lot of good luck that night as we defeated Texas A&M Commerce 84 to 71. And I'll tell you what I told him after the broadcast, if his, if his gig in Congress doesn't work out, he's always got a place on the Tarleton Sports Network as a guest commentator because he's good on the radio, he's good on TV, and he's very knowledgeable about sports. His first job, full-time job, was actually as an assistant baseball coach at Texas Christian University where he was a star player as an undergraduate. Uh, but, unfortunate, but fortunately for the 25th District of Texas in our country, he's pretty good at being in Congress. He was re-elected in November with 75% of the vote. Uh, he does a great job. And I can tell you, I worked on Capitol Hill for four years, and they don't make too many people like Roger Williams up there. He's the real deal and, and a great representative for Stephenville, the state of Texas, in our nation. So without further ado, please help me welcome United States Congressman Roger Williams. Thanks for that introduction. I'm glad you can read my writing. I'll tell you, that's a, that's a great introduction. I want to tell you what a great honor it is to be here. 
Which one of you guys did I give that card to at the airport? Did you get it to him? Did you get the coach? You, you kept it. Now I've got to talk about you. <laughs> Listen, I really am glad to be here. I'm honored to represent all of you in Congress, but uh, I want to thank uh, Dr. Thank you for your leadership. Uh, you do a fa fantastic job for this university. Uh, Mayor, thank you for leading this community. We appreciate you. And Coach, uh, you're just the best. We appreciate all that you do uh, and uh, your leadership and not only uh, creating winners on the court, but we've already heard winners in the classroom. And uh, that is really what it's about. Now, I'll just tell you a brief story. Uh, we've heard already about some of the comments that people have made about the quality of these uh, young men uh, on this basketball team. I guess it was last Monday, I was at DFW Airport, fixed to get on an airplane to go to Washington, and I saw all these guys going up and down the food courts. They were, they were everywhere in their, uh, in their Tarleton uh, uniforms. They looked great. They acted great. Uh, I watched people look at them. I watched people comment about them, Coach, uh, how well-mannered they were and what a good-looking group of uh, athletes they were. And uh, it made me proud to, uh, to be part of the team. And uh, so I found one of the guys right there, gave him my card, and I said, tell the coach, I'm expecting him to go all the way. Well, you all went all the way without the card. <laughs> and uh, so it basically said, I love you, coach, all right? But anyway, uh, you can be proud of your young men and women. Uh, I just want to say that uh, 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 I think that uh, this university is a great university. Everybody knows about it in Washington. They followed it. I followed it. Uh, we even got two big Tarleton jerseys up there in our uh, office that we were able to put on the day you all played uh, uh, and tweet out how much we love how much we love the Texans. But let me just say this again: There's an old saying that says it ain't over till it's over. Well, as far as I'm concerned, Coach, it ain't over. We'll see you next year, and I hope to be here next year and celebrate a national championship. And what do they say when you're from Texas? Don't mess with Texas. We all need to say don't mess with the Texans. And uh, so congratulations on a, on a job well done. And uh, go Texans, and may God bless all of you, and may God bless this institution. Thank you very much, and keep on going. God bless. Thanks, Congressman. He, he told me good introduction on the way up. You can send that $100 check to Box T-0080, Stephenville, Texas, 76402. Send me a 50. <laughs> Thanks again, Congressman, for being here. We know you had a very busy schedule. He's supposed to be in Austin today, and he rearranged his schedule to be here, so we're just so appreciative. Our next speaker serves as the mayor of the city champions. He's actually my boss because I serve on the city council, and because of these guys, I don't think I've been to a meeting for a month, month and a half, so I think he's going to reprimand me uh, when he gets up here. But we're, we're very lucky to have him as mayor. He's in his third year as the mayor of Stephenville. He was elected overwhelmingly to his second term in May of 2014. Before serving as mayor, he proudly served his country for 26 years in the United States Air Force. He's a 1981 graduate of Stephenville High School. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the podium the mayor of the city that the Tarleton Texans reside in, Kenny Weldon. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I am so honored to be here to represent the citizens of Stephenville and to say congratulations to our Carlton Texans. President Dottavio, thank you for the invitation. Coach Reisman, for allowing me to step onto your court. And Congressman Williams, to be in your presence. This community loves their Texans. The attendance record, I think, walks the talk. Our Tarleton Texans are the real deal. They are real, and this is a big deal. We appreciate what you bring to the court. We appreciate what you bring to our community. We love you guys, and we want you to know that. Steamville is better and is a special place because Tarleton is a part of our community. It's something we don't want to ever take for granted. Thank you for being a part of this community. And to symbolize that thank you, I've got a proclamation I would like to read.
whereas Tarleton State University has enjoyed a long record-setting history of success in men's basketball from Coach W.J. Wisdom in the 1930s to the current reign under Coach Lon Riesman, and whereas the 2015 Tarleton Texans men's basketball team has set new records by completing its first 31 win season, winning the Lone Star Conference Championship, hosting and winning the NCAA South C Central Regional Tournament Championship, and whereas on March 26, 2015, the Tarleton Texans competed in the t NCAA Division II Final Four, showing exceptional character, de determination, and skill that has characterized the entire season. Now, therefore, I do proclaim this day, March 30th, 2015, as Tarleton Texans Men's Basketball Team Day in the city of Stephenville, and call all citizens to join me in expressing our sincere appreciation to the players, coaches, families, school officials, and loyal fans. All right, let me switch gears for just a second. In medieval times, cities were built with walls around them. In that wall was a gate. The gate was secured every night to keep the citizens safe. The only people that had keys to those gates were the most trusted citizens of the community, those that represented the character and integrity of that town because the, uh, the fate of the residents in that community depended upon those that kept the gate. The Tarleton Texans are led by a person of integrity and a character that exudes the team and I think is a reflection of the qualities that a servant leader brings to an organization. A leader in that those that follow achieve more than they think they can. A servant and that all that the leader does is for others. To be a true servant leader, you have to be a person of integrity and character. Our community is blessed to have such a leader, and it is my honor to present a key to the city of Stephenville to Coach Lon Reisman. Thank you guys, thank you. Thank you, Mayor. I, I normally don't mix politics and sports, but Mayor, you got my vote on that proclamation. I'll make the motion and I'll second it. So appreciate you being here, Mayor, and I've gotten so lost here, I forgot what's next on our agenda. Oh, the most important part, we're gonna recognize the individual members of the 2014-2015 to our Alton Texans. At this time, I'm going to ask associate head coach Chris Meesman to come to my left, and I'll ask Coach Reesman and Dr. DeTabio to come to my right. And before we introduce the players, we the NCAA gave us trophies for the players, but Coach Reesman's going to talk about this, but it takes a lot more than just the players. So I'm going to introduce the staff and support staff, and when your name's called, would you please stand up, staff members, and wave to the crowd. First up, we have associate head coach to my left, Chris Reesman. And you don't have to hold your applause till the end here. Okay. Assistant Coach Marlon Cloudy. Coach Cloudy, stand up. Assistant Coach Chris T.D. Harrell. Graduate Assistant, former sharpshooter from behind the arc, Coleman First. <laughs> Student Manager, Cole Hollingsworth. Student Assistant, Ashton Manley. Student assistant, Brody Wilson. Where's Brody at? Where's Brody? Oh, Brody's in class. Okay. Well, he's a much better student than I was when I was here. Assistant athletic director, if he's here for athletic performance, Rod Cole. Coach Cole, are you here? Coach Cole, thank you. Assistant athletic director for sports medicine, Steve Simpson, Dr. Simpson. He could be in class. There he is, Doc, up there. Dr. Simpson. 
We've got head athletic trainer for men's basketball, Adam Daimling. Adam? And student trainer, Tyler Gilmore. Tyler? Anyone I missed? All right. At this time, we're going to go in numerical order. I'm going to ask individually the members of the team to come up when they are announced, and you can make as much noise for each one of them as you would like. Our first player to become, come and be recognized, a 6'4 junior guard out of Kansas City, Missouri, Malcolm Hamilton. Come on up, Malcolm. Next up, a 6'6 junior forward, Division I transfer out of LIU Brooklyn, Mesquite High School, E.J. Reed. I feel like I need to just make up some commentary as they come up here to the, the podium, you know. <laughs> he had some great threes in that Angelo State game, EJ. One of the two super freshmen, 6'4", guard out of Pflugerville High School, Nosa Ebenwani. <laughs> Nosa is known throughout the country as the toughest last name to pronounce, but uh, I, try to, I try to tell the PA announcer how to say it, and they still mess it up. Great season, Nosa. In his fourth year, he's a redshirt junior, but this will be his final season on the court. Let's give a hand. 5'6", guard out of Midland High School, Mercedes Lane. Mercedes appeared in 39 games, won four, made the NCAA tournament four times, two Lone Star Conference tournament champions, three Lone Star Conference regular season championships. Congratulations, Mercedes. Uh, the second part of the super freshman duo is 6'1 guard out of Austin Connolly High School, Deshaun Riddick. Are you 6'1, Riddick? Is that? Okay, he said, yeah, I'm 6'1. I'm a 5'10 guard out of Plano East High School. There's a sign at the game that says, if you want to win, Put Chico in. Jacob Morales. A 6'3 freshman out of Garland Lakeview Centennial High School, Charles Beauregard. Charles? A three-time Lone Star Conference Offensive Player of the Week, first team all Lone Star Conference selection, second team all South Central Region selection, 738 points, 37 double-digit scoring games from the Bronx, New York, 6'3 senior guard, Mo Lee. <laughs> Yankees fan? Like your coach? Yeah, yes. Good job, Mo. Point guard, luckily for Tarleton fans, he's got one more year. A junior out of Georgetown High School, all Lone Star Conference, second team selection, 738 points, Mike Harge. I think I said 738 points for Harge. I think it's 500 and something. That's, that's Mo Lee, so forgive me. I got to give this guy a little hard time. I went home the other day, and there used to be in my mom's house pictures of me on the mantle, and I get home, and there's pictures of Mike Harge and her on the mantle. And my picture is on the coffee table. Arch, watch out now. Don't take away my Christmas gifts. A 6'7 sophomore at a Plano East High School. A forward, Sawyer Kip. Our next player you're going to hear from later, so I'm going to keep uh, this short and sweet on his introduction. In his fourth year, you'll hear from him in a few minutes. Four-time Lone Star Conference Defensive Player of the Week, number 40, Davin A. Carter. A 6'6 red shirt sophomore out of Dallas Samuel High School, number 41, Curtis Woods. Come on up, Curtis. I like to call him the Dutchman from Dublin. He's a 6'9 junior forward, the Lone Star Conference Academic Player of the Year, number 42, Jakob Domstra. In 
And last but certainly certainly not least, a member of the All Lone Star Conference defensive team this year, leads the team with 117 games played, 92 blocks, 529 points, 461 rebounds, a two-time Lone Star Conference Defensive Player of the Week, 6'5", senior forward out of Dallas, Conrad High School, Damian Clements. And uh, if you ever watch the Tarleton Texans warm up before a game, you know we can't skip this guy. He is the backup, backup point guard, three feet, four inches, 40 pounds, out of Stephenville, Texas, number 40, Rush Reisman. Rush, come on up. Rush, we couldn't have done it without you, buddy. Let's give one more round of applause to your 2014-2015 Tarleton State Texans. All right, I skipped someone who's very important. I gotta find his introduction. I worked a long time on this. Oh, here it is. This event, of course, is all about honoring the players, coaches, and staff. To bring remarks on behalf of the team, I wanna welcome up a young man who really, to me, epitomizes what Tarleton State basketball is all about. You know, when I first started calling Tarleton games on the radio seven or eight years ago, I thought team family believe was something they just put to sell t-shirts, but it's something that these guys truly believe in. And this young man in his four-year career really shows you what team family believe is about. 112 games, 706 points, a career high 492 rebounds. Congressman, on Thursday night, you're gonna see at about 545 this young man on SportsCenter as he's gonna dunk it off on national television to go to the State Farm Slam Dunk Contest. To bring remarks on behalf of the team, let's welcome up number 40, Davin A. Carter. Hello. Oh, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, showtime. <laughs> All right, there we go. Um, as the team knows me, I'm a man that likes to ramble a lot. So, you know, I really haven't prepared a speech or anything, but, you know, I'm just going to speak what I know and from the heart. Um, as far as the basketball team goes, uh, you know, we really appreciate. <laughs> Shut up, bro. We really appreciate. All <laughs> I got a time limit. I got a time limit. Uh, we really appreciate all the love and support that y'all have constantly given us, you know, through the years, like uh, my four years being here, you know, I've like I've just felt at home. You know, I've came in here with Mercedes and Clemens, and, you know, they just like my brothers from like, you know, we've been knowing each other since high school. You know, we came in and we just fell in love, pause, but, you know, nothing crazy like that. But, you know, we love each other like a family, you know, <laughs> the new students, the new teammates that came in, they just mess with us together and you know this is like the I say this is the best team I've been on because you know how much we've bonded we've it's never been anybody in their own group or nothing it's always been like a complete team that and you know we are family and I love them with all my heart man you know we just appreciate everything y'all have done for us all the support and um, we just giving y'all all the gratitude because without y'all we wouldn't really be here that's all I got thanks Carter appreciate that again make sure you tune in this is what's gonna happen on Sports Center, 545 Central Time. I hope that's right. 545 on Thursday night. Carter is going to dunk it off against some kid from West Texas. I don't remember his name because they stopped playing a month ago. But he's going to dunk it off at 545 on Thursday. And the winner, an hour later, the winner, an hour later, is going to perform on the State Farm Slam Dunk Contest. You have to vote through Twitter. So when you watch Sports Center at 545, you, then after that, you're going to have an hour to vote on Twitter. And it's going to be kind of an interactive deal on national television. They're really going to play it up. And we need to get Carter into that round for the State Farm Slam Dunk Contest. So tune in, 545 on Thursday. Thank you, Carter. Put this back in here for Coach. 
1988, I wasn't, well, I was five years old in 88. I wasn't around Stephenville, but I was told that this was kind of a basketball graveyard here at Tarleton State. The 1986-1987 team won three games. They lost 25 games. Then athletic director Ron Newsom, uh, President Barry B. Thompson, went out and recruited a young one-year head coach at Connors Junior College who made, him, made a name for himself at southeastern Oklahoma. And the rest is history. They recruited him over to Tarleton State. And he took that team in his first year. They were 3-25 and 25 the year before him. His first year, they were 18-11. and 11. Two years later, they were 26-5 and five and won the Texas Intercollegiate Athletic Championship. He's now the fifth winningest head coach all time in active Division II head coaches. He's number five on the wins list. 27 years later, the rest is history. You can look at the banners up at the wall to see all the accomplishments. Uh, he's an outstanding leader. He's a husband, he's a father, a friend, and a heck of a basketball coach. Let's give a hand for our head coach, Lon Reisman. Thank you, Casey. Thank you. Well, mine's only about thank yous today and, and what you mean to the university and our basketball program. Casey's given some, but I'm... I kind of have a dual role here, athletic director and, and head men's basketball coach, and I'm very lucky to have an administrative staff behind the scenes that do a great job, and I want to thank them, Susan Burton, Troy Jones, Casey Hogan, Dr. Steve Simpson, Justin Boyd, Rod Cole, Nathan Burrell, B.J. Simmons, Terry Hardcastle, and Kathy Doyle. I appreciate what you do. It allows me to do what I do, and I couldn't do it without your support, and I want to thank you for that. I want to thank my great basketball staff because this isn't a one-man show. This is about a, a team of coaches that work diligently, very, very hard into the late hours of the night. Uh, they are as good a basketball staff. I'll put them up against anybody in America. They do a tremendous job. I know they were introduced a little earlier in the program, but I want you to understand <coughs> that I could not do what I do without their support. And your only good is the people that work for you. And these gentlemen work hard, and, and I want them to understand in front of everybody today how much I appreciate the basketball staff. Chris, Marlon, TD, Cole, I appreciate everything you've done. The, assist, the student assistants work very hard, and it's a family affair over here. We appreciate what they do, along with Rushman. Got many outstanding players that's put in a lot of hours. They tell me I'm not the easiest person to be around all the time. They, at least they tell me that. Um, I know that you know, EJ is looking at me right now. <coughs> but I, 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 don't, I don't change much in the last 27, 28 years. They know my expectations. They know what we expect here at Tarleton State. And I want to tell you that I'm very proud of this group of men. They've worked very hard to accomplish what they accomplished. They put themselves on the line 31 and 4, 35 times this year. They put themselves on the line for, for what we believe in, strong ideals, and the core values that Dr. Dottavio went over. This group exemplifies that. They've worked very hard, and I'm very proud of this group of young men. I really want to thank you, that the people that attend our games and that have been so loyal to our program. I know that I have many coaches when I go on the road or I go to meetings that says, where do you get those fans at Tarleton State? They know when they come here, this is a hard place to play. It is an extremely hard place to play. And in the reason it's a hard place to play is because of you that support us, that are on your feet, that are screaming at the officials and you're really after them and you're right with us every step of the way. Winning that regional championship this year really meant a lot to me because I know how much it meant to you. It was our fourth time that we have hosted that. And was I feeling a little pressure? Yes, I was because we had lost it three times when we had it here. And I, did, I surely wanted to win it for you one time 
Because us winning isn't just about us. It's about you who have really taken an ownership in our program and that really, you know, really can feel the pain when we lose and the joy when we win. And I can't thank you enough for the support that you've given this basketball program over the years. Please give yourself a hand because you're, you're part of this program. And then I want to say thank you to the Tarleton administration, Dr. DeTavio and your administration and your cabinet for the support, our faculty and staff that, that are out there supporting us, our Stephenville community, Mr. Mayor, that continues to fill this gym also, our Texan Club members that are so loyal to the Texan Club and our boosters, our Texan Club board of directors that help lead this athletic department. I want to thank that group because you helped make this successful, and thank you for that, please. And then to finish up, I've got to thank my, my foul play band over here that I feel like I can't even play an instrument, but I feel like I can just because I'm with them all the time. You know, when we lost the other day, I saw tears in their eyes. You know why? Because they know they're such a part of this team and they mean so much to us. They're the best in the Lone Star Conference. No, uh they're the best in the nation. Foul play. And our cheerleaders, our cheerleaders are asked to do, you know, they're, they're, they're asked to do a lot on our campus. They're a class group of men and women. They're another team that really buys in and they know they're a part of our program. They know that they have an ownership in our program and they cheer their hearts out. And I want to say thank you to the Tarleton cheerleaders. You're the best there is around the country. How about our dance team, the Stars, who just do a tremendous job of entertainment. I appreciate the Stars so much. Plowboys, been behind us all year long. Pankus. And how about those poo that come around here all the time? I want to thank all the student organizations. And bottom line is, is that I want to thank you again for being here today. And may God bless all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. In conclusion, I want to thank each and every one of you for being here. I know it's not always easy to get away at 4 o'clock on a Monday afternoon. And uh, for those of you that took the time out of your busy schedule or played hooky from work, thank you so much for being here and for your support all season long. Congressman Williams, thank you for being here, sir. Uh, it means a lot to us to have a United States congressman here at this event, so we appreciate all that you do. Uh, Mayor Weldon, I think we've got a meeting at 530. And I'm going to be there this time. I will be there at 530. Thank you, Mayor. Oh, I like that. That's cool. I feel like David Letterman up here. You know? Thank you, Mayor Weldon, for being here. President DeTavio, thanks for your support and making this event possible and your support and what you do for this university all season long. Congratulations to the team and the players. I want to thank everyone again for coming here. And I'll leave with this final note. We talk so much about team family belief, and I truly believe that Congressman Williams said it best. This is the team. We're the family, and I believe that the for Tarleton State basketball, the best is yet to come. With that, I'm going to ask you to stand, and we're going to leave with the playing of the Tarleton State University color song by the Foul Play, Foul Play Band. Thanks for being here. We'll see you in November. God bless.